Today's task is to make a couple of feet for the Myford. Um, this guy over there. Let's just raise it a little bit up. And uh, I had some uh, aluminium blocks, really, so I just figured I would be using that for that purpose. So short or shallow relief, just so it sits on the uh, edges. And after I uh, just just uh, faced off ends, I'll leave the sides, and then I'll just face off the two uh, top uh, sides. I'm using a, a let, let's say a face mill, but I'm using it as a side. Just canted the head a little bit over. And uh, since I have uh, auto feed and all axis, I'll use that too. It's a little bit noisy, the feed. This is the motor itself uh, for the spindle, and then the quite noisy feed. It's a um, stepless, uh, let to slow it even further down. And lock one axis up. Like so. Just go to the edge. Here. Then I engage all the feed. Of course, nice and um, stepless uh, feed rate control. So the stepless control of the spindle speeds and also the feeds. Feeds on all three axes with, of course, stops. For facing off the top, uh, I think I will go with a bigger cutter. One that can take the whole cut. So this one, it's uh, a little bit larger than what is supposed to be used on this machine, but we'll try. Take it slow, I think it will work. I'm just setting zero here. Just skimming, this is the lowest one. So I'm using this as a reference. Center it, lock down the in and out, and then we set zero on the DRO. Okay, and I um, can see if I engage auto feed, lock down this axis also, and I engage the auto feed again. This time for the uh, slowest speed on the, on the Longitudinal axis. So I get take off the stop, right. raise the head again, and over the table I mean.
So it's a bit better when you turn off, the, especially the, um, the power feed, that's quite noisy. Uh, as I was saying, when you um, get to the end here, you get a little bit interrupted cut. And because uh, I think um, inside the head here, of course, from the motor, uh, there are several shafts. I think, uh, I guess uh, a bushing is a little bit worn because you'll have a tendency for chatter when you have interrupted, interrupted cuts. And that's where you have a um, real benefit of playing around with both the stepless feed and stepless RPM to find a sweet spot. And I think the, the um, results are acceptable, at least such an old mill and um, amateur means. This is okay enough for me. Um, the surface finish, I mean. And um, from an operating point of view, just remove the, the plastic cover I just wedge in between here to avoid all the chips coming down to, uh, let's say, the lower part of the, um, the upper part of the knee here. Uh, but to show here at, little, at least a little bit, we have the DRO, of course, which I mounted with the reader head on this bracket here. And, um, and this is made so to accommodate the stops here or the longitudinal axis. So that I have the stops here gauging as I want to. Of course, when you have auto feed either direction, this way, this way, you can then, with the motor on, this will be able to be rotated and engage this, you have the step, uh, stops engaging here. So um, that's why I made it like this. And then um, uh, this feed is of course, uh, as I said, in all three axes and it's uh, either a gear with position one or two, you can choose fast and or slow and even slower. And then of course you have the, as I said, the, the stepless, uh, feed uh, on the um, or stepless uh, RPM control on the feed motor. Um, in addition here what you see is of course then uh, locking down the this axis, locking down this axis in and out and locking down the up and down axis like so. And here they are, together with one original. I um, made them a little bit um, lower, uh, suited my application here, or my my situation. So this, these or originals are a little bit higher. And uh, as you can see, it's um, this is cast, of course, it's hollowed out, and uh, I didn't well, I'm lazy, so I didn't need one more than that shallow relief there. Anyway, here, these are now drilled and uh, tapped for uh, these screws. And there are rubber gaskets here, in uh, well, liners, so to speak. So I intend to make something uh, similar here with um, following the bolt pattern, of course. And then um, with bolts going down to the casting here and uh, of course adjustable and yes they are not the same size I didn't uh, bother to make them the same size really here so this can live under the headstock and then on the tailstock and nobody will know the difference really I don't think they look too far out of uh, proportion or uh, they're quite tidy, the feet here. Uh, of course, not. you see there's no bolts here, are no bolts here. So um, just for show this, uh, I intend to bolt them down, these blocks to the, um, from the underside. This is only really temporary. And then, uh, of course, uh, drill down and the bolts from the top. 
so but takes a nice uh, looking pair of it.